Just a brief presentation saying thank you to International Society of Experimental Artists for honoring me with your very first scholarship. I enjoyed taking this workshop from Carol Simmons, the Master Caning One workshop. I learned so much, so I wanted to share with you sort of what I did. We prepared color boards. We uh, had to choose colors from a photograph. So I learned to do that for the first time, uh, how to do that on a computer. And then we had to blend the colors according to our color selections. This was really very exciting. This is Carol Simmons uh, demonstrating some of her caning techniques. And caning is assembling colors into like a millefoy design like glass caning, except it's with polymer clay. And here are my color selections all uh, blended and laid out and also my canes um, that uh, I have made to assemble my main big master cane. And here is my larger master cane assembled, uh, not compressed yet. And on the right is my cane, my master cane assembled and compressed. And you can see it's rather large. It's actually the very largest cane I've ever made uh, in polymer clay. It's sitting on top of a pasta machine, so you can kind of judge how large it is. It was approximately three and a half inches wide or on all sides. Um, and it was about four inches tall. And we reduced it even down to a longer length of almost uh, four and a half, five to six inches. So. And by compressing it and reducing it, you see it gets rid of all the air space in there. And then we did the big reveal, as it was called. We cut the larger cane in half and then uh, got to look at it, or it was revealed that uh, we maintained the design within after reducing, which that can be kind of challenging, I found out. It's uh, rather tiresome to reduce a cane. You have to throw it down on something firm and keep turning it and stretching it and warming it up. Um, it's almost like birthing a baby and then finally you cut the cane and you have your delivery and <laughs> it's really so exciting and shocking to see what beauty was created and maintained after doing all that hard labor. And here are the the two pieces put together um, are just kind of laid together to show you the different designs that you can accomplish by turning this triangular formation around and how they line up and really make a, I think, a gorgeous cane and was so excited that it turned out so well. Here are some thin slices that I've made from this master cane, or one half of the master cane. Um, and then I'm going to cut them again and assemble them into the final product. After assembling and putting them together, uh, the designs and the shapes and matching up the designs, you get some beautiful kaleidoscope effects, all from those same slices that you saw on the previous slide, but it depends on how you arrange them and what section you cut them out of. This was very exciting. These are finished products. They are like a little medallion you can hang on a necklace and wear. And after I got home, I uh, started playing with some of my leftover uh, Master Cane and I made a, some little small uh, Oh, trinket dishes out of polymer clay. Uh, also assembled some other canes I had on hand and made some other designs of polymer clay or kaleidoscope designs. So this to me was a very exciting process and I'm looking forward to 
uh, taking time and experimenting and learning even more and seeing if I can't combine it in multimedia uh, type pieces and hope to present them to ISEA eventually online or in some of the shows. So I will continue to work and I want to say thanks again for the lovely scholarship. It was put to good use and I will continue to experiment from some of the knowledge I've learned at this workshop. Thanks again.